Welcome back with another video. Scuff Six Ben's here, and today we're going to be teaching you how to tame the Innostron Savior. To start the taming method for the Innostron Savior, you're first going to need to trap them so you can immobilize them to tame them. Once you have them in the trap, you're going to then need creatures to sacrifice to them. Depending on the age and the type of day, that's what you're going to sacrifice. If it's daytime, you're going to need to sacrifice baby creatures, and when it's nighttime, you're going to have to sacrifice adult creatures. Having friendly fire on, you're able to hurt your own creatures, so it's easier for the inner strength savior to attack them, and so that they can kill them to get the taming effectiveness. And also, keep in mind, you're going to have to sacrifice good creatures to get good affinity and good taming bonus, so keep that in mind. Keep in mind that the Innostrand Savior only spawns in the Redwoods. You can unlock the Innostrand Savior saddle at level 45, only needing 85 crystal, 250 high, 225 fiber, and 125 metal ingots. The Innostrand Savior has a bite attack, which is R2 on controller and left click on PC. This bite attack is able to do a bleed, and this bleed is able to stack up to 5 times. Press and right click on PC and L2 on controller, you're going to enable the ability to be able to climb. When you're able to climb, you're also able to go down, side to side, and you're also able to wield weapons on the back of the Innostrantia, off climbing and while climbing. When pressing X on PC and pressing down D-pad on console, you're able to do a howl. This howl enables you to do more damage to creatures with a 285 drag weight or lower, which means aloe sized creatures or smaller. Also, this attack can only be used only in the daytime, so keep that in mind. When pressing C on PC and pressing up D pad on console, you're able to do a sniff. This sniff attack makes you to see the top five highest level creatures near you. The Innostrand Savior also has a tech variant, which is pretty rare to see on the island, but can spawn. When pressing X on PC, and down d-pad on console, you're able to do the claw attack, which is only being able to be done at nighttime. When you claw at a corpse, you're able to get the RG regeneration buff, which gives you a decent amount of HP back. When pressing left control on PC and right d-pad on console, you're able to do a night vision. This night vision can only be done at night. When you're doing this night vision, it drains a bit of stamina. You're also able to see much more clear during nighttime. Hope y'all know how to tame an Innostrand Savior. Make sure to like, subscribe, and maybe comment if you want to say something good. Well, it's all, folks. It's Guff6 Vince, and I'm out.